Hi, it's Dr. John Terry, the Black Belt Leader, and welcome to this Master Your Money Monday. I had an individual reach out to me this last week, and he said, Dr. John, I need your help. I've got $18,000 in credit card debt spread among three credit cards, and I want to get my spending under control, but I'm not sure what I need to do. Can you help me? I shared a couple of tips with him I want to share with you. Number one, this tip was easy. If you're digging a hole, rule number one, stop digging. So I challenged this individual as we spent some time having conversation to identify areas that he was needlessly spending money and see what we could do to stymie that excessive spending. Well, as we began to talk, he identified that he spent a lot of time at Starbucks. He spent a lot of time going out to eat. He had several cable services that he was paying for, streaming services that he simply never watched. And as we began to talk about some things he could cut out, he could drink a couple of less coffees. He could brown bag it instead of having to, you know, go out to eat at a fancy restaurant every day for lunch. He could cut the cable and he could actually get rid of a couple of the streaming services that he had. And as a result of that, we immediately created a $200 margin, money that he was already spending, but needlessly spending with nothing to show for it. And we were going to redirect those dollars to help him get out of debt. We then made a list of the three credit cards that he had, the amount of money that he owed on each one, and the interest rate being assessed on each one of those credit cards. Now, in looking at the strategy, he had an equal amount of money divvied up between the three cards, so we decided to attack the highest interest rate first because he's paying more money every month in interest on that card over any other. So here was the strategy, and it was pretty simple. We agreed to make the minimum payments. He agreed to make those until he retired those debts. But he was going to take the $200 of margin that he created and apply that plus the minimum payment to the credit card with the highest rate of interest. And as he retired that debt, he was then going to take that entire sum, the minimum payment and the $200 balance that he was paying on that highest interest rate credit card and apply that entire balance to credit card number two. And then once he paid off credit card number two, he was going to take the entire balance, what he was paying on credit card one and credit card two, plus the $200 margin and apply that to credit card number three. Now, remember, he was still making the minimum payments on credit card two and three while he was accelerating the payoff of credit card one. And then we repeated the process with credit card two and again with credit card number three. And as we looked at that strategy, it was literally going to shave decades over his ongoing consistent current pattern of simply paying the minimum payment and wondering why he was seeing little or no impact. Well, the minimum payment was essentially paying the interest and maybe a small bit of principal, but in doing the math, it was going to take him over 30 years to retire the debt if he simply stopped adding debt to those credit card balances and did nothing more than make the minimum payment. But walking him through one of the strategies that I teach in Master Your Money, an online course available at theablackbeltleader.com, I shared with him some principles and some precepts that can help him get his spending under control, get that credit card debt retired, and change his spending habits so that he can keep more of what he earned. I hope that was beneficial. And if you'd like to learn more about Master Your Money, visit theablackbeltleader.com. Go to the Courses tab and scroll about halfway down the page and you'll find Master Your Money. I'm Dr. John Terry, the Black Belt Leader. Thanks for joining me for this Master Your Money Monday. Have a great day.